All right, first thing first, got to get these old ones off. All right, we got we got some issues. The hole for this and the hole for the brackets that I was going to use, as you can see, one's like way bigger than the other, so when it's on there, it's going to bounce around all over inside there. So that's for example, put that pin in there. That's no good. So luckily I got some these nylon spacers here. thing where are we at this thing's gonna fit perfectly in there maybe there we go yeah fit perfect in there but the problem is now this won't fit through there so we gotta drill it out a little bit and make it bigger Alright, we drilled out that a little bit bigger, so the pin fits in there nice and snug now. So, got one more to do. These are a little bit bigger. I had to pull it up just a little bit so I get the um, maximum amount of up and down. You can see these pull it back a little bit. It's both a six inch stroke but the uh, actual when it's in its closed position is shorter by two inches maybe a little bit more yeah probably about almost three inches so this was sitting down about right there before so I had to pull it up that much more so I would think that everything from here up is all motor compartment, um, motor components. So who knows what's inside these ones here? So <sighs> these are little Allen screws right there. Turn the light on. There you go. You can see them there. I'll tell you what, if I didn't go to the gym or anything. This was hard as heck. I had to squeeze this on there and had to use every bit of my Kung Fu grip to uh, get that on there. So, this one I gotta measure, make sure I get the same. I measured an inch and a half down and put it right there. So, inch and a half down, then I'll put, them, put some grip on there and Work that one on there. All right, got them both on there. This one was definitely a lot easier to clamp on there than this one. I must use some low-grade Chinese aluminum or something on that one, and titanium over here. That one just went on there very simple, so. You can see that one's down a little bit further, so this one just kind of leans back in that position. So um, next, I guess we'll hook it up to our motor controller there. All right, we got them all hooked up. Definitely pretty long. 
a lot faster. <laughs> May have to move these down just a little bit, maybe. We'll see. It's all adjustments. Too easy. All right, well, kind of stuck right now, but uh, what I did, pan up here, I've got a center line, center line measurement there, found the center here on the blade, then measured out both sides, got the same distance, and put that centered. So, what I need, do is, is have this bracket let's put this, on now, this bracket on here to be able to pivot as the blade goes up and down because if it's if it's fixed um, it's going to bind up so I got to figure out how to attach this let's see if I can This one here, and another one over here. So, I was thinking about, I gotta find some bigger bolts because at least the hole's a little bit too big. So, I'll have to weld one there, and probably weld one right here. Once we do that, we can be able to slide this over, put a nut on there, and we'll be all right. Um, I got these little things here. I, don't know, I hang on to all this type of stuff, but that fits like perfectly in there. You know, if I can figure out how to attach that on there, and that kind of fits absolutely perfect. The problem is, it's too small. I was looking at kicking around the idea of using these um, sheet metal screws to, to go through this hole here, go to, through there, then into the blade, into this solid piece. But I would think after time that would loosen up and probably have some type of failure. So might as well make it heavy duty the first time. Get some strong bolts on there. Um, do somewhat of the same thing. Put this on there. Obviously, I gotta find some more of these things so it has a, a nice pivot point on there. But that's just a little bit, a little bit too big. And this one's just right, but the hole is tiny. Need a little bit bigger hole, so I have to take a trip to the store. Right now it's pretty late, and it's like blizzard-like conditions out there. I'm not gonna go anywhere, so I'm gonna have to wait a day to get these on there. One there, and one over here. So if you got any ideas on what we could do here or a different type of setup i'm open for uh, suggestions on this one so 